Hi everyone, welcome to IGCSE Study Buddy, where you can revise chemistry topics from the Cambridge IGCSE syllabus. If you are enjoying our videos so far, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. In this video, you are going to learn part 5 of topic 3, Stoichiometry. What are limiting reactants? The limiting reactant in a chemical reaction is the substance that gets used up first and determines how much product can be formed. It's like having ingredients for a recipe and the one you run out of first limits how much you can cook. The limiting reactant is the reactant that is insufficiently available preventing the formation of additional products in a chemical reaction. The other reactants are left over if there's more of them than needed, but the limiting reactant is what matters for calculating the amount of product. Looking at an example, let's consider the reaction between potassium and oxygen to produce potassium oxide. If you have 12 grams of potassium and 16 grams of oxygen, calculate which reactant is the limiting reactant. Here's the balanced chemical equation. It shows that ideally 4 moles of potassium react with 1 mole of oxygen. So let's find the actual number of moles of potassium and oxygen. Using the mole formula, we substitute the masses of potassium and oxygen, 12 grams and 16 grams, as given in the question to find the number of moles. The answers are 0.31 moles of potassium and 0.5 moles of oxygen. Now, according to the ratio, 4 moles of potassium react with 1 mole of oxygen. So, 0.31 moles of potassium in reality should need only 0.08 moles of oxygen to react with. But, there are 0.5 moles of oxygen. This means that oxygen is the reactant in excess. So, potassium is the limiting reactant. Potassium is the limiting reactant because if there was more of this reactant, then more K2O would have been formed with the existing O2. Next, let's talk about concentration. Solute is the substance that gets dissolved in a solution. It's the stuff that's added in the liquid. Solvent is the substance that does the dissolving. It's what the solute dissolves into to create the mixture. A solution is the resulting mixture when a solute is mixed with a solvent. It's a combination of the two substances. Concentration tells you how much of the solute is there in a given amount of solution. It's like the strength or the amount of the solute in the mixture. The concentration increases when the amount of solute in a particular volume increases. Concentration can be found by dividing the mass of solute by the volume of solution. Concentration can be measured in grams per dm cubed or moles per dm cubed. You may come across questions where you will need to convert from dm cubed to cm cubed or vice versa. To convert from dm cubed to cm cubed, simply multiply by 1000. To convert from cm cubed to dm cubed, simply divide by 1000. Example, a student dissolves 12 grams of salt in 1500 cubic centimeters of water. 
calculate the concentration of the solution in grams per dm cubed. Now if you've noticed, the volume of the solution is given in cubic centimeters. So first we have to convert that to cubic decimeters and to do that we divide it by 1000. Now we can apply the mass of solute and volume of solution to the concentration formula. That will be 12 divided by 1.5 to give 8 grams per dm cubed. Now concentration can be measured in grams per dm cubed and also mole per dm cubed. So how do we find the number of moles of solute? Simply use the mole formula. Number of moles equals mass divided by molar mass. Let's do an example. Determine the concentration of a solution of hydrochloric acid in mole per dm cubed when 146 grams are dissolved in 250 cubic centimeters of water. So first, we find the number of moles by dividing 146 grams by 1 plus 35.5, which are the relative atomic masses of hydrogen and chlorine. That gives us 4 moles. Now, we convert the volume of water from cubic centimeters to cubic decimeters by dividing by 1000. Then, we substitute the number of moles and volume into the concentration formula. 4 divided by 0 0.25 gives a concentration of 16 mole per dm cubed. Titration is a chemistry technique to find the concentration of a solution by reacting it with a known concentration solution. Acid-based titrations find the amount of alkali needed to neutralize acid and vice versa. You might be expected to calculate the moles of solute or concentration or volume of a solution using the results from the titration. Let's look at the following example. If 30 cubic centimeters of 0 0.025 moles per dm cubed of sulfuric acid reacts completely with 60 cubic centimeters of sodium hydroxide solution, calculate the concentration in mole per dm cubed of the sodium hydroxide solution. Here's the balanced equation for this reaction. First, we convert the volumes to cubic decimeters by dividing by 1000. Next, using the concentration formula, we may substitute the volume and concentration of sulfuric acid to arrive at the number of moles. So there are 0 0.00075 moles of sulfuric acid. Now look at the ratio of sulfuric acid to sodium hydroxide according to the balanced equation. One mole of sulfuric acid reacts with two moles of sodium hydroxide. Therefore, 0 0.00075 moles of sulfuric acid will react with how much of sodium hydroxide? Do a simple cross multiplication and we arrive at 0 0.0015 moles of sodium hydroxide. Finally, we substitute the values of the number of moles and volume to arrive at the concentration of sodium hydroxide, which is 0 0.025 moles per dm cubed. That concludes part 5 of topic 3, Stoichiometry. Are you enjoying our videos? Are they helping you? Here's a way you can show your appreciation and support our continued efforts. You may use YouTube Super Thanks to send us thanks. Hope this video helped you. 
Please share your thoughts and suggestions in the comment section. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to IGCSE Study Buddy for more revision videos. Bye.